Could technology be the harbinger of end times or our savior in the apocalyptic future? A question that lingers in the minds of many as we stand on the precipice of technological innovation, peering into the abyss of unknown possibilities. As we probe deeper into this enigma, we find ourselves amidst two contrasting views. On one end, we have the dystopian perspective, a bleak interpretation of our future where technology spirals out of control, leading to our eventual downfall. Picture this, a world where artificial intelligence becomes sentient, where machines rebel against their human masters, where our reliance on technology ultimately becomes our Achilles heel. It's a chilling scenario, isn't it? But let's not get carried away by this dystopian narrative just yet. There's another side to this coin, a more optimistic, divine perspective, if you will, that paints a completely different picture. This view envisions a future where technology is the beacon of hope, our savior in troubled times. Imagine a world where technology aids in reversing climate change, where diseases are eradicated by advancements in medical tech, where technology bridges the gap between the haves and the have-nots, creating a more equitable society. It's a utopian dream that many of us hold dear. Caught in this whirlwind of perspectives, it's easy to sway from one end to the other. But the truth is, we are yet to fully understand the extent of technology's impact on our future. Like explorers setting foot on uncharted territories, we are probing the unknown, trying to decipher the role technology will play in the end times. Will technology be the Pandora's box that unleashes chaos and destruction? Or will it be the key that unlocks a new era of prosperity and peace? These contrasting views set the stage for a debate that has been raging on for years, a debate that we will delve deeper into as we progress. It's a dichotomy that sparks many a debate. Will technology ultimately lead to our downfall or our salvation? Join us as we venture further into this intriguing exploration of technology and its role in the end times. In the dystopian perspective, technology is the harbinger of doom. Imagine a world where technology, once our ally, turns into our greatest adversary. This is the dystopian perspective, a chilling vision of the future where our own creations betray us. At the forefront of these fears lies artificial intelligence, or AI. The idea of creating a machine capable of independent thought is a tantalizing prospect. But what happens when these machines surpass us, when they no longer need us? Therein lies the threat of AI. In this dystopian scenario, we become obsolete, outsmarted by our own creation. But the AI threat is just one piece of the puzzle. Consider the potential misuse of technology. We've already seen the devastation caused by atomic power in the last century. Now imagine the destruction that could be unleashed if our increasingly sophisticated technologies fall into the wrong hands. Drones, once a tool for capturing breathtaking aerial shots, could become deadly weapons. Biotechnology, which holds the promise of curing diseases, could be used to engineer biological weapons. In this perspective, technology becomes a Pandora's box, unleashing horrors we can scarcely comprehend. Yet perhaps the most insidious threat is the dehumanizing effect of technology. With every passing day, we become more intertwined with our devices, more dependent on them. We're losing the ability to connect with each other on a human level. Our relationships are mediated by screens, our emotions distilled into emojis. We're gradually being transformed into mere cogs in a vast digital machine. The dystopian perspective warns us of a future where we lose our very humanity to the relentless march of technology. In this perspective, unchecked technology serves as a ticking time bomb, leading us towards an inevitable downfall. As we stand at this crossroads, the question we must ask ourselves is, will we control technology or will it control us? The dystopian perspective serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences if we allow technology to run rampant. It's a chilling vision, but one we must confront if we're to steer our future towards a more hopeful horizon. On the flip side, some believe technology could be our divine savior in the end times. Now let's dive into this perspective, a perspective where technology isn't a harbinger of doom, but a beacon of hope. How so, you might ask? Well, there are several key arguments that support this view. Firstly, technology has the potential to solve some of our most pressing global problems. Consider climate change, one of the greatest threats we face today. Technological advancements in renewable energy sources like solar and wind power could drastically reduce our carbon footprint. 
Imagine a world where we harness the power of the sun, the wind and the waves to fuel our lives instead of relying on fossil fuels. In this scenario, technology isn't a villain but a hero, leading us towards a sustainable future. Secondly, let's talk about healthcare and life extension. Every day we're making strides in biotechnology and medical research. We've developed treatments for diseases that were once considered death sentences and we're not stopping there. Scientists are exploring the potential of gene editing technologies like CRISPR to cure genetic disorders and even slow down the aging process. In the face of a pandemic or global health crisis, the promise of technological advancements in healthcare is a ray of hope. Lastly, the potential of technology to help us colonize other planets. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But think about it. We've already sent rovers to Mars and private companies are making plans for manned missions. If we can master space travel, we could ensure the survival of the human race, even if Earth becomes uninhabitable. The stars might be our final frontier, but with technology, they could also be our saving grace. In this view, technology serves as our lifeline, potentially capable of rescuing us from the brink of destruction. The role of technology in the end times is a debate that is far from settled. In our exploration, we've traversed the dystopian viewpoint which paints a grim picture of the end times where technology, rather than being a beacon of progress, becomes an instrument of destruction. This perspective is fueled by concerns over issues such as artificial intelligence outsmarting human intellect, leading to a potential loss of control or the misuse of gene editing tools potentially causing irreversible damage to our natural world. On the flip side, we've also delved into the divine perspective, which envisions a future where technology acts as a force for good. This viewpoint sees the potential for technology to solve many of the world's biggest problems, from climate change to hunger and even death itself. It envisions a world where technological advancements bring about an era of peace, prosperity and unprecedented human development. What's fascinating about these two perspectives is that they both stem from the same source, our increasing reliance on technology. They merely represent two different paths that this dependence could lead us down. It's a classic case of the same tool being used for both constructive and destructive purposes. It's important to remember, however, that technology in itself is not inherently good or evil. It's a tool, a means to an end. Its impact on our world, positive or negative, is largely determined by how we choose to use it. Whether it leads us to a dystopian future or a divine one is in essence up to us. We are the architects of our future. The decisions we make today about how we develop, regulate and use technology will shape the world of tomorrow. It's a tremendous responsibility, but also an incredible opportunity. Whether technology will be our doom or savior in the end times remains a question only time can answer. But one thing is certain, our future is inextricably linked with the path technology takes.